Question. How do you define good cinematography? Is it only about pleasing images or the technology behind it? You don't have to answer now. In fact, it's a personal question that every aspiring cinematographer should ask herself or himself. I always wanted to make a video breakdown of this movie because of its masterful visual storytelling that enhances the emotions of every scene. Eurek Lissou is a French cinematographer who previously shot High Life, Only Lovers Left Alive and Personal Shopper. After reading the script for Little Women, I met with Greta in London where we had a long discussion and discovered we were on the same lines about how best to shoot a period movie. As he describes his collaboration with Greta Gerwig, the director of Little Women, their first discussion was about the style of a period drama with a slightly modern feel. They made it feel more relatable to these times, where Joe, the main character of the movie, is a writer that stands for the power of women and against patriarchal norms. They have minds. And they have souls, as well as just hearts. And they've got ambition, and they've got talent, as well as just beauty. And I'm so sick of people saying that, that love is just all a woman is fit for. I'm so sick of it. So what's so special about Little Women cinematography that every one of us should use in our future projects? It was really the story about the four sisters and within that about their childhood and being all together, doing fun things together, and then when they are older and a little more realistic. This separation is mainly achieved by color. Jo's memories are filled with a warm light that illuminates every corner of her house, whereas the present is cold and moody. That classic use of color separation is working subconsciously on how we read the image. That separation also helped to differentiate two parallel storylines without confusing the audience. Another way to divide those storylines is to establish different compositional elements. Those scenes that were in the past included mostly all sisters in the shot. Each shot was long and the dynamic camera accompanied their young, moving characters. Whereas Joe's present is filled with clean single shots that convey the lonely environment for each woman. Their past shared world is now broken into pieces. The most powerful example of compositional storytelling is the scene where Joe and Lori are having a walk after her sister's wedding. No. No. It's no use, Joe. Please Joe, don't. we've got to have it no. out. I have hey. loved you ever since I've known you, Joe. I couldn't help it. As Lori leaves her, a crane shot from Joe to the white field indicates her loneliness. It's not only about having one character inside a frame that indicates that, but also the environment around them. The amount of air and negative space does that as well. The additional part was dedicated to the references from a variety of American artists. Composition is one of the most powerful tools to make the story much stronger. There is a general belief that we, cinematographers, directors, choose our medium according to the time of a movie. If it's a sci-fi blockbuster, we would shoot it digitally, while for a period film, we would go for a film stock. She absolutely wanted to shoot it on 35mm film, as the overall texture provided by film grain would better support the reality of the story, as opposed to the flat image produced by digital and she wanted the audience to feel as if they were up close and intimately involved into the story to have a real connection to the performers and their surroundings through the changing seasons. 
when it comes to the subtle tones of faces as well as the colors of the natural world, the results are far more beautiful and engaging on 35mm than they are with digital. As an example, the movie Emma was shot digitally and it has obvious look. It's not necessarily bad. Moreover, according to the genre of this movie, it fits the story well. While watching Little Women, I felt nostalgia inside this picture and that was the key element behind this look. Also, a slow motion is organically placed inside this character-driven story. Several times we see this element, which is more than just a cool effect, but rather the illustration of happiness and memories. The frame, light and color, texture, movement, these are all conceptual tools of cinematography. Enhancing the feeling and emotions of a movie is a priority. This approach to visual storytelling that Greta Gerwig and Yorick Lesu decided on shows how powerful they are in delivering the story of Little Women. Thank you so much for watching this video. It was quite an enjoyment for me, and I hope it was the same for you. Have a good night.